Hello. Uh, hi, my name is Ben Thomason, and welcome to Conversations with Team Fuqua. I work within Duke Innovation and Entrepreneurship here at Fuqua with a focus on private equity and venture capital. And uh, today I'm delighted to host this conversation with one of our second year students who's been very plugged into the private equity community here at Fuqua. His name is Kevin Chen. And, you know, rather than me give your background, you know, Kevin, I'd like to just turn it to you to share whatever you'd like yeah, with sounds our great. audience. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, my name is Kevin. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada, I'm an international student. I was actually born in China before and, and came to Toronto when I was five. Um, but actually, I, I moved around a bit. I went to the University of Waterloo from undergrad because studying computer science and finance. Um, and right after, actually, um, moved to Hong Kong, where I was for five years before the MBA. Um, doing, doing a few, a uh, couple of roles, one in sales and trading, um, and then after that in uh, finance and strategy at a food delivery startup um, in, in Hong Kong. Very interesting. What was the name of the food delivery? Startup? It was uh, Deliveroo. So during that time, they IPO'd um, when when I was there awesome. um, as part of the finance and strategy team. Yeah, very yeah. neat. Um, so before we dive into the private equity questions, uh, just share with our audience a little bit more about what drew you to Fuqua. Why did you choose Fuqua? Yeah, for sure. Um, so for me, I wanted a few things. So one, I wanted to be in, in the MBA in the US, um, and that was like one of my goals. Um, wanted to move back to North America, so doing a geographic change as well as potentially a career change. And um, I found that Fuqua, just talking to a lot of the um, second year and the students um, when I was you know, evaluating different schools, um, that there was a lar large, broad range of experiences and expertise um, in finance and consulting and um, private equity, VC, um, as well as in tech um, at that time. So speaking with a lot of the alums um, was really helpful in making uh, my decision just because at that time I didn't really know um, what I wanted to do. And um, when I was there, like when I was um, talking to a lot of the um, admission fellows um, at Fuqua, they were very responsive. They really wanted to um, talk to me. They really wanted to, you know, drill down to my story and 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 um, and see if you know Fuqua is the right fit. And I think that was the biggest difference between uh, Fuqua versus other schools. And um, that really gave me a sense of you know the strong um, community spirit um, at Team Fuqua and. and really um, evaluating whether or not, you know, Team Fuqua, Team Fuqua, that, that was a lot of the messaging um, during that time, right, um, before coming in. And, you know, when I was there, I was back in Hong Kong at that time, and I couldn't, because of the COVID restrictions, couldn't really actually visit any of the schools um, that I wanted to be admitted mm -hmm. to. Um, but at that time, that, that was the biggest sense of um, what I got from the class and uh, the biggest indication that I think um, Fuqua was the right fit for me. How have you seen that play out? I mean, like now you're over one year into your Fuqua experience. Has that been true? Yes, I, <laughs> I, I totally, I think it's completely true um, because a lot of the times, one, um, Fuqua is, is, you know, Durham is relatively, you know, smaller city versus, you know, the other larger um, metropolitan areas of where the, you know, top, you know, I would say 20 um, MBA schools are. Um, so because of that, um, the, the community spirit is, is um, big. Um, there's, you know, a large, large amount of traditions. The class size is not too big and not too small, um, where, you know, each section that we have, so there's six sections. Um, each section has around 70 students, uh, 60 to 70. I mean, you do really get to know each and every person um, within that section, um, at least within my section. Um, and then there's, you know, with that, as well as the amount of like student run and um, and partnerships, I think we'll get to that a little bit uh, later, but partnerships with the um, the Fuqua Academia and, and, the, and the career centers, I think that was like um, a, a big support um, infrastructure uh, for me, um, just because that I knew that, you know, going in, um, there's a lot of student run groups where a lot of students would be more than happy to, you know, um, talk to you about, you know, career prospects or even any of the projects um, or um, or student activities, social activities that are happening. Um, and I think one one big example of um, Team Fuqua that you'll experience mm -hmm. um, perhaps in the first, you know, few months of MBA is um, the kind of like the Myrtle Beach um, trip that, that happens um, at the end of the summer term. And um, that's a very big example of Team Fuqua where the entire class just coordinates um, a trip um, with 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 each other um, and you know um, arranging rooms arranging you know um, places to stay um, arranging activities like that's all been that's all student run and yeah. I think that's like um, kind of like the magic of, of Team Fuqua um, 
being in play after really just a month of class. Yeah, totally. I find it such a supportive environment. And I didn't mention this at the beginning, uh, but I'm also a Fuqua alum. I graduated in uh, the class of 2004, which doesn't seem like that long ago, but I had a stint in industry. I worked in finance, and then I've, I've been back here uh, on staff at the school for over a decade. Um, so it's a real pleasure to get to work with students like Kevin that are pursuing careers in finance. Um, so a segue, I mean, like you mentioned, um, you know, just about uh, this, the nature of like the student run environment. And I'd love for you to share, Kevin, just a little bit about your involvement with the Private Equity Club and, um, you know, some meaningful experiences that you've had through that so far. Yeah, I think the Private Equity Club is a great um, professional club that really mirrors what we talked about, about um, the, the academia and the um, the career support as well as um, Fuqua staff support as well as student run um, events. So what the Private Equity Club does is one, it's a more of a learning um, club where we bring a lot of speakers, a lot of um, industry folks. Um, I think last term we have two speakers um, from um, two different private equity firms come in uh, for lunch, lunch and learns. Mm -hmm. um, and those are you know great events where it's like a very intimate, you know, at, at most 12 students, uh, 10 to 12 students um, in a room with an industry speaker um, who really heads up, you know, for example, um, David Nowak, who heads up, um, is a managing director at private equity in, um, in at Brookfield. So um, that was one of the, one of the main programs. Second is, um, that's industry exposure. Um, second is really on the learning side. So we run a lot of uh, learning programs, the LBO workshop that um, at the private equity club runs alongside um, Ben, um, as well as a private equity club uh, conference that happens uh, at the end of the spring. So um, that's you know the the three main pillars of the private equity club and, and how each one kind of works with um, different parts of the school uh, to to make sure that um, students. Um, who are interested in private equity get that exposure and get that one industry experience, um, learning, uh, academic learning, um, how to build an LBO, how you know um, private equity deals work, um, as well as a um, really an industry-wide um, event um, involving students, industry folks, as well as uh, academia. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, three like tangible ways that students are making a difference in private equity, you know, paths, career paths for other students. Uh, we do this in collaboration with one another, and so um, some of the things that Kevin mentioned, you know, like the Private Equity Club is hosting regular events throughout the full year. Um, and then uh, what we'll have coming up in fall two is uh, the uh, partnership between Duke Innovation and Entrepreneurship and the Private Equity Club uh, will be hosting an LBO model workshop. And uh, this is a five-part series where uh, students will go, that go through the workshop, this is co-curricular, uh, will learn how to build an LBO model from scratch. Uh, so I'll be involved in the delivery of that workshop. And in fact, Kevin will be involved in the delivery of that as well because we bring in a second year student to be a guest speaker for each of those five sessions. So we've broken down like, you know, building out that LBO model from scratch into five different components. So I think that's a really unique part of building some of these um, private equity muscles like while you're here as a student. And then the last piece that Kevin mentioned, the Private Equity Venture Capital Conference happens in March of each year. And um, last year was a fantastic conference. Um, you know, again, this is a, a conference that's put on by the Private Equity Club. And um, as in my role in Duke Innovation and Entrepreneurship, I serve as one of the advisors to the club. Uh, last year they had uh, David Rubenstein was yeah. one of the uh, keynote speakers and then you know several panels with other professionals that are coming in and opportunities just to learn about the industry. Um, I have some more questions that are prepared for Kevin, but I see some coming in. Um, so I want to encourage people to enter your questions that you have, because that's what we're here for, is to answer your questions. And um, we'll just bounce back and forth between these two. Um, so I, I want to take the first student question. Yeah. You know, so we can just go ahead and dive in here. Um, so as this question says, I often hear that it is challenging to pivot into private equity right after the MBA without prior experience in either private equity, investment banking, or consulting. So do you agree? And you know, what are the potential career paths to break into private equity? This is a good question. Um, 
and I, uh, Kevin, I'm going to put you on the hot seat just to give like your first response to this because I think just getting the student perspective on this front, uh, the unvarnished student perspective is the best way and the thing that people are going to want to hear. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I think um, so for private equity post MBA, um, a lot of times there's I think there's two avenues. Um, one is through a custom search um, that. Um, ben also, you know, um, helps support a, a custom search cohort program um, starting the fall two term and all the way into spring. Um, and that's where, um, you know, you, you do have to, it's basically a, a custom recruiting process where you're kind of structuring, um, reaching out to as many industry folks as possible, um, and then, you know, seeing the interest of um, private equity internships. I think the second part is um, what you're mentioning is, um, is kind of like the, the the road um, more more traveled um, where it's you're going through either IB or consulting and then maybe um, down the line maybe a few years down the line um, go into private equity um, I think that's what a lot of students at Fuqua are um, interested in as well um, and I think this is kind of where um, it's a you know relatively supportive space where the private equity club will help you know um, kind of um, I would say materialize your long-term uh, career plans uh, if you are interested in private equity. Um, but a lot of us um, are in, for example, for myself, uh, I am going to investment banking in, in Bank of America um, under the consumer retail team. So, um, and through that, um, through my internship last year, I was actually doing a lot of um, private equity sponsor, uh, financial sponsor deals, um, and you know, learn a lot um, from there as well. So. Even if, you know, down the line, I might not I decide maybe three years down the line, I don't want to do private equity. But the skills that I have um, and I gained through Fuqua, through the private equity club, um, would also help uh, in my short term uh, career path as well. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Um, yeah. So uh, from a campus recruiting perspective, um, and I'm just kind of building on some of the things you said, yeah. uh, when you come to Fuqua, uh, Every bulge bracket investment bank is represented. Wonderful opportunities to uh, go into investment banking, uh, which if you haven't had that experience before Fuqua, um, tremendous opportunities uh, you know, upon exit. And then within the private equity space, as Kevin mentioned, as an investment banker, like, you're working with private equity firms. So, um, you know, having these experiences that the club provides and in partnership that, um, you know, we're working together with in Duke I&E uh, really helps uh, to advance your banking career if you choose to make that your first step out of Fuqua. Um, and then from a custom search perspective, uh, the private equity industry is highly fragmented. And so when it comes to investment banking, um, investment banking often hires MBA students in large numbers. Um, so there's like a whole cohort, a whole incoming class for each of the, the large banks. Um, on the private equity side, uh, what we found is that having a custom approach can be a really effective way of doing that. And Kevin alluded to, uh, we're going to start a, a cohort of students that you know will be a supported group um, where you know, I'll be meeting with them as well, and essentially like. Um, building out our own, uh, your own kind of custom search process for private equity. So that'll be a smaller group of students than the, um, than the students that go immediately into investment banking. Uh, but there's a community here to support that custom search uh, process, which is really critical if you're looking to break into private equity immediately after Fuqua. Um, many alums uh, end up going into private equity um, at some point after that first job at, at a Fuqua too. So there's kind of like you can take that step either immediately or down the road. Um, there is another question here uh, that I wanted to uh, address. Can you explain about, this is from Hassam, so thanks Hassam. Uh, can you explain about a segment of private equity where employees are involved in guiding management teams of portfolio companies rather than doing just the financial work? And, I, and I'm going to bring a little artistic liberty to this question because um, Hassam is hitting on an important point. An emerging trend that I've noticed is that um, when you think about the private equity industry, it's important to think broadly about that. And you know, there's working at the fund level, and there's also working within the portfolio company. And I really think this is the essence of 
um, what Hassam is hitting on here. So um, any observations on, from your perspective about like working at the fund level and working at the operating company level, Kevin? Yeah, so I think um, operating at the fund level, I got an exposure from my internship where um, I was you know, working with the mega funds um, doing leverage buyouts of um, one of the you know, larger consumer uh, retail um, in, um, assets in the space. Um, but um, also on that front, on the value creation front, um, I actually got that experience firsthand as well um, through the Mentor Studies um, kind of initiative that we have. So Mentor Studies is essentially a uh, experiential learning um, initiative um, uh, paired with um, a few others such as CASE as well as uh, FCCP. Um, so these three are the main pillars of uh, experiential learning where you get you know, hands-on industry um, learning and, and, and internship experience. Um, in exchange for course credit. Um, so what we do, um, what I did uh, with for my mentor studies was um, in a value creation team uh, with a um, healthcare private equity fund in based out of Nashville um, called Council Capital. So um, what I was doing there was I was part of a um, in the portfolio company um, value creation side, um, working with the value, value creation team of the fund to really. Um, create and, and start up new initiatives um, for value creation for one of the portfolio companies, which is um, essentially a telehealth um, uh, startup um, based out of uh, Nashville. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm really glad you brought this up for multiple reasons. So uh, one, like piggybacking on that last question, it's a lot of this is about building your experience set. So um, how are you going to build your experience set while you're here at Fuqua as a student. So one of the things we talk about within the broad segment of experiential learning is that um, it's about bringing the marketplace into the classroom. So as part of your curriculum, you can enroll in mentored study. And um, there's a set of companies that we've worked with, with historically as a school uh, that we can help facilitate um, you, know, you choosing off of that list and approaching them. Uh, but also, like, the world's your oyster here. And as you can imagine, like, from, a, um, you know, from a custom standpoint, if you think about the universe of private equity firms, there's a lot of them out there. And, um, and so bottom line is that through mentored study, you can design your own experience and get access to a private equity firm, partner with them on a project that mutually aligns with something you know, that is of interest to the firm, so you're adding value, um, but it's also aligned with your own learning objectives. And so that's a key component of mentored study. Um, really great, to, that also happens to be a program that I'm involved with at Fuqua, and so you know, I will help support that experience Experience and enjoyed partnering with Kevin on that um, in his uh, mentor study project with Council Capital. So it's a great way to like learn by doing and getting exposure to the private equity industry just by doing a project with a yeah. firm. And I also want to add, as an international student, because you're on a visa where it doesn't allow you to um, take you know full time employment elsewhere. Um, this you know mentor studies is actually a great opportunity for you to one align your um, you know, an internship that aligns with your course um, course load and, and what you're taking in class, as well as take getting you know um, hands-on experience even before your first internship um, working in the U.S. So I think that's um, also a great, you know, for international students, that's a great um, I would say an advantage um, of the mentor studies program. Awesome, yeah, I, I really enjoyed partnering with our students on that front, and it's an academic experience for you here at Fuqua. So yeah, it's it's like part of your course load. Um, it's a great opportunity. I'm going to keep going here with some of the student questions. Um, uh, let's see. How does Fuqua and Private Equity Club facilitate relationships between current students with real world, world practitioners in the private equity space? So we've kind of given a preview to, to some of this. Uh, but let's also think you know, more broadly. Are there any other formal informal mentorship programs that you have a sense that students can uh, leverage these relationships? from Fuqua. Um, so, you know, on that one, I do think we fortuitously covered a lot of this yeah. with mentored study in that um, you have, we have both like a set of Fuqua facilitated 
project opportunities is what we call it. It's a, a list of uh, private equity firms that have supported projects, like Kevin mentioned, Council Capital has been one that has supported a number of students over the years in a, in a mentored study experience. So you can you know, like choose off the menu, is what the way I like to describe it, or like you can design your own journey. And if you're designing your own journey, um, you know, then the world's your oyster, you know, on that front. And you think about like, what's your criteria? Like, what industry are you interested in investing in? What size of firm, you know, is most compelling to you? Like, what kind of deal size ultimately, you know, do you want to be working on? And uh, we have the tools in our library, um, you know, for you, the tremendous database resources that are quite expensive, but they're available to you as a student. And um, we can guide you through that process of how like you could scope out for yourself like what kind of firm you think best meets like your own personal interests and then go pursue that firm to create an academic project for you anything else like uh, from your perspective as you think about this question on um, you know engaging with the industry while yeah. you're a student yeah I think um, there's plenty of Opportunities. I think one, the PVC um, conference also gives you that access. Um, mentor studies as well, um, and also even like um, within the industry through other experiential learning programs, as well as even through. Um, there's a lot of even the graduate, um, in the graduate side of of, of Fuqua, the graduate school. Um, they also host a lot of uh, events. Um, I actually also um, went to an event. Um, talking about sports in, in the US and, and there's a lot of um, industry folks as well there. Um, private equity as well as um, you know sports industry folks. So um, there's you know plenty of events and, and programs within Fuqua as well as outside. Um, I would also say the academic um, uh, faculty uh, here, um, so Ben, um, David Robinson also had uh, prior um, private equity experience as well as John Bewley who had used to head up um, private, head of, uh, private capital markets uh, within uh, JP Morgan. So he also you know, brings in guest speakers um, during the, through the class and that's also where these opportunities arise where you can you know, speak to um, industry professionals um, outside of um, really just the typical academic um, uh, learning experience. Yeah, yeah. So I think we have time for one more question. This one's from Jay. Kevin, I'm going to kick this to you. And then yep. um, I'm also you going to say if there's any kind of parting advice that you want to give to our audience, you know, to feel free to add that in as well. Sounds great. Um, so from Jay, do you think that skills are often interchangeable? Um, you know, like if you're preparing yourself for consulting later down the road or you want to pivot to IB or private equity, you know, will that work? How interchangeable do you believe these skills are? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I can speak to my, my classmates as well. Um, I think these skills are definitely interchangeable. Um, I think one, um, going back to, you know, P and consulting, um, when I'm, I was recruiting a first year, um, you start to learn that a lot of the things that the consultants and the um, investment makers do are like very similar. It's a lot of advisory. It's a lot of um, you know generating ideas as well as um, project work and making sure that you know projects are done uh, within the same timeline, uh, within the deadline, um, as well as really stakeholder management and um, conversing with you know um, different groups within the firm. Uh, so as a consultant, you'll be a generalist um, on a project team, but you'll also be conversing with you know specialists. Uh, within the firm as well as the client. Um, same thing with um, investment banking where, you know, as a coverage banker, you are um, one, um, the relationship uh, banker, uh, relationship manager with the client as well as, you know, holding things down internally with, um, you know, the leverage finance uh, committee wh who will approve your um, deal and your, and your and you know, balance sheet funding uh, for the client. Um, and also like product groups as well as um, equity capital markets um, who work on IPOs and equity um, fundraising as well as um, say the M&A team uh, who will help support the uh, M&A process. So um, a lot of these both in IB um, uh, and in consulting should be is uh, very similar. Uh, having great communication skills really helps. Um, I think that's really 80% of the job um, as well as you know having that you know intellectual curiosity to learn um, on the job is also very important. 
I think also uh, in P, it's also very similar. You are also you know taking on projects and, and taking on um, looking at um, investments, but obviously in a, in a different route. Um, but that's that's they're all um, pretty much um, the same interchangeably. It's really you know what you, are you more curious uh, about, right? Um, are you curious about the operational aspects of the company? Then I would say um, right you know right out of MBA, go into um, consulting where you will learn a lot uh, about that. Um, or are you invest uh, looking into you know um, you know, um, being the, you know, I would say the market maker between um, the uh, buy side and the sell side. And, and that's where kind of like investment banking really works, um, where you're helping corporations, you know, think about how, um, how to really optimize um, their financial uh, performance and and also um, raise money um, through the capital markets. Um, and also if you're, you know, looking into investing, I think, you know, PE would be a great, um, uh, you know, avenue uh, for that. But Essentially, they're really um, the same interchangeable skills. Um, having financial acumen, having great communication skills, um, being you know collaborative uh, and a team player um, at work, um, they're all um, pretty much the same. Very Kevin, similar. thank you yeah. so much for the time today. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for a potential uh, future students from Fuqua to get to hear from a current one, a current second year. And uh, yeah, would just like to thank everyone for joining this session.